It's almost impossible nowadays to find a black tip float in a shop. Black tips, they're just not sold for some unknown reason because there's so many times when you can see a black top float, especially a pole float or even a waggler, on lakes where you've got no cover on the other, other side. And here we've got really the perfect scenario. The, the swim that I've fished today has got black water in front of the island where a red, orange or yellow fluorescent type float you can see absolutely perfectly well because the black water where the float is it just stands out perfectly you can see by it's easily. Of course once you move into the silver water away from the island or the the sheen of the water the surface is almost white I mean today we've got overcast situation where you've got sort of a grey sky and that makes the whole surface of the lake almost white or almost silvery type and then you can see a black float miles better than, than red or fluorescent Probably the only time you can see red or fluorescent on a white sort of background like that is when the sun is directly behind you and that shines onto the float and then it starts to stand out. But even in that situation, a black top float is just miles better. Because you can't buy black floats, it's, most top anglers carry a simple thing like a, a pen. As long as it's a permanent black marker, you can black out the tip of the float, which is very easy to do. You can just get the marker pen and literally colour the top of the float black. Now this is all well and good, but what generally, or what I've found I've done in the past is I've got loads of floats that I've got set up with black tops and not so many with red. And once you've blacked a float in, it's very difficult to get rid of that colour. Now this is where Drennan's produced a set of floats where you can actually change the bristles on the top of the floats. We have five floats in the range covering all the classic body shapes. All these floats have interchangeable bristles so you can change the top of the float to any colour that you want to match the circumstances that you're fishing in. Now these tips actually fit into a plastic socket inside the float. What Drennan's actually done, they've produced a socket that's ribbed and this ribbed socket fits down inside the balsa float itself. Now that socket is actually sealed at the bottom and once you seal it, it, it cannot possibly leak. So the main thing to do, and it's very important, is to shove the bristle of the float right into the bottom of the socket. Once it hits the bottom of the socket, then it's impossible for any water to get in. The engineering of these sockets is really important and very difficult to do because each bristle has to fit tight into that socket. And you can see from those bristles there, they're a very, very fluorescent colour, so they're quite easily to see when you've got a dark background. And of course, you can replace these bristles with the black one once you've got a white or silver sheen in front of you and see that black float stand out against that white type background. One of the main benefits of being able to change the bristle on the float is that you don't have to set as many floats up. And here I've got a tray of it, SF1s and SF2s and you can see they've virtually set them all up red. But of course, I can change to any bristle I want. I can have an orange bristle, I can have the fluorescent yellow bristle, or the black. So I can set just a, a, a lot smaller amount of rigs up to cover a lot of circumstances that I'm fishing in. These type of floats stop you having to squint and sort of not being able to see a float properly. You can quickly change the bristle even mid-match and it's something that I've done several times when I've been fishing when the light has just changed or even the ripple on the water has started to break the water up. I've changed the bristle to be able to see the float. This stops you getting headaches. I mean there's many a time I've arrived home when I've had a day's fishing and because I've not been able to see the float in the past I've finished up with headaches and not feeling at my best after a fishing match. Thank you.